keeps on. Okay. Well, it's 12 o'clock, so we're going to start. There's Hillary. All right. We just need um, weights and a squishy ball. And we will be, I can't quite figure this out. There we go. All right, so weights and a squishy ball. Feet about hip distance apart. Now you still can't see my feet. Need to put a mark on here. All right, so just nice hip distance apart. Give those shoulders a little roll down. Give your legs a little walk out, standing nice and tall. All right, we're just gonna start lifting our heels. So stay neutral, little space behind your low back. You're just gonna go straight up. Hold when you're nice and high and then slow, just controlling as you lower back down, not doing anything funny through your spine or your hips. Again, we're gonna go up and then slow and controlled coming down. So we're gonna go up here and then reach your arms up to the ceiling as you lower your heels. So keeping that length through your spine and then arms down as you lift, and then really reach standing tall. So go four like that, arms to shoulder height, and lower with control. Watch those knees aren't locking, three. And right up. Last two. All the way, control, and then go one more like this. Inhale, exhale, arms. Now keep your arms up, you're gonna bend down, come down into a little squat as you stand up, arms back behind you. So getting that little bit of tricep there. Inhale, on that bit of an angle, core is connected. Exhale, up. So go five. And four. Three more. Reaching. Feel that core connect. Press through your heels. Up. Last two. And then go one more. Inhale down. Exhale. Press all the way up. And then come down and stay. This time just bend your elbows to 90 degree angles. So from here, I'll show you the front view actually. We're gonna kick your right leg out to the side. Hold when you're there, not shifting your weight too much to the left and then bring it back in and then stand up and down. Now we're gonna go two. So we're gonna go out one and in, out two and in and then back up one and down, go up again. One and no, that's two, go three. Three and in, go for two. Nice long spines, open across your chest and in, let's go three. Control, go two more, up, control, one more, up, control, let's go four. Pull in all your weight or most of your weight in your left heel. Last two, and in, last one, and in, ready, four, up, three, up, Last two, up and down, last one, up, back down, last set, let's go five, reach, pull in, four more, isometrical for that left glute, right? Three, and in, last two, and in, last one, back in, ready, five, four, control, three more, press and down, last two, press, down, last one, press, and then give those shoulders a roll out, walk those feet out that little bit. We do the exact same thing on the other side. So feet hip distance apart, feel that 
even weight. Now palms are gonna face one another. So you're gonna come down here, kick your left knee out. Watch that your weight hasn't shifted across. Right knee and heel and hip all in line. Pull it in, stand up. And down and go two. Out and in, two. Out and in, one. Up and down, one more. Up and down, let's go three. And in, two. And in, one more. And in, let's go three. Control, go for two. Control, one more. Up, control, let's go four. And in, three more. Out, pull in two more. And in, last one. And in, four, press down. Three, press down. Two more. Down one more. Down, let's go five. Out, pull in four more. Out, pull in, hip stay square. Three, and in, two more. And in, last one. Out, and in, let's go five. Control, four more. Control, three more. Control, last two. Down, last one. Up, lower that heel. Give those shoulders a little bit of a roll out. All right, now from here, left heel presses into the mat. Back to a little left side. So lifting your right up, hold when you're there. You're gonna open your arms wide to this side. Bend your elbows 90 degree angles. So you're gonna tap your toes and then up. Tap, not letting your weight shift to the left. So that's the movement for your leg. Waistlines are long, even pressure through the inside and outside of your left foot. Now we're gonna add a little arm to this. So you're gonna go up, press down, reach your arms up overhead. They should be shoulder distance apart. Sorry, this is terrible angle today. In, in, and reach. Go for five. Reach, four more. Keep that right inner thigh squeezing towards your midline. Three. Last two. Last one. And up, drop those heels. Open your arms. Take a little bit of a breath. Same thing, other side. So press through your right heel, right inner thigh squeezes towards your midline. Lift your left. Stay there. So just start with the leg. Hip stay square. Tap. Now we're gonna go arms up, pull, no, wait a sec. We're going here and <laughs> here. And up, everything is bent, reach away. Long waistlines in, reach away, go for four. Reach, ribs stay tight around your center as those arms go overhead, just like when we're lying on the mat. Last one, in, reach, lower that leg, lower those arms, have a little, Roll out. And then from here, open your legs to a wide second position, as wide as your mat or a little wider than hip distance apart. Feel that your weight is nice and even on those heels, even through the inside and outside of your heels. And then we're gonna go wide, arms reach, and then pull your arms back in. So you're gonna go reach, pull in. So when you bend, you're reaching your arms. You're not just extending, you're reaching. And then pull in reach, press through your heels, feel your core connect. Reach, press through your heels, feel that core. Go for five, four, three more, whoops, and in, last two. Press through those heels and big toes. Last one, come down, stay there, bend in, reach out, go left, in, reach out. Now we're gonna switch it up, in, and twist, in and twist, pull back, in, even weight in those heels, even long waistlines, in, in, one more here and reach, one more here and reach, reach those arms all the way up, come down, lift your heels all the way up, lower those heels all the way down, lift those heels, go for four, Press through those heels, right up, down, up. Last two, 
up, down, last one, up, lower down, stay there, lower your right, and up, lower your left, and up again, go right, left, and up, one more right, lift, one more left, lift, stand all the way up, reach those arms overhead, drop your heels all the way, give everything a little shake, and then let's come down onto our mat. Keep your weights handy, grab your squishy ball. All right. I'm gonna grab my little squishy ball. Start with it between your inner thighs. And then just lie flat. So feet about hip distance apart, maybe a little closer so you can feel that squeeze with your inner thighs. Nice neutral pelvis. Upper body's nice and quiet. We're gonna start just hip rolling up, so belly button to spine. Lift, hold at the top, so knees reaching away from the top of your head. Slowly melt down. And then do that again, so belly button in. Press up. Again, slowly roll all the way. Come to neutral. And then go one more like this, belly button in, holding at the top. So you're just going to squeeze your inner thighs, not glutes, squeeze them tight, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. So just notice as you squeeze, are you squeezing your glutes with your inner thighs? Try to minimize the glute work, maximize the inner thigh work. Go for four. So keeping those glutes relaxed. Three, as relaxed as you can. Last two, and one more squeeze in nice and tight. Now from here, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Shoulder blades are flat against the mat. You're gonna drop your hips down, so now like a plank. He, um, tailbone comes down and then it's gonna press back up. So arms are gonna reach as your tail comes down. Ribs stay tight around your center. Inhale down, press through those heels and big toes up. Go for five. Four more, lower and up. Three more, reaching up. Last two, reach. Last one, lower, press up, hold there, roll all the way down. Come to neutral, take a breath. Then you're gonna reach your arms overhead, circle them all the way down and around, and then bring them back together. And then do that again, so up around, back up, do that again. Reach, around, and up. Last two, reach, and up. Last one, reach, open circle all the way around, and then back up to the ceiling. Hold when you're there, keeping your upper body quiet. We're gonna go down, around, all the way. Back up. So at a certain point, your back wants to arch right here, right? Keep your ribs tight around your center, or maybe decrease the range of motion of your arms. Circle doesn't need to be huge. You want to be able to keep your body still. Two more like this. All the way around and up. One more. All the way around. Reach those arms back up and then stay there. So keep your shoulder blades flat against the mat. From here, press into your heels, lift your hips right up and then stay. You're gonna lift your right heel. So your weight is primarily in your left foot. You don't wanna just wait, your, let your, your hips shift to the left. So think about that left inner thigh is squeezing toward your midline, right inner thigh is squeezing toward your midline as well. You're really light on your right toes, you ready? We're gonna extend this leg out. If that feels like too much, just keep your toes down. That's absolutely fine. So from here, alternatively, you could bring your arms down as well. So we're going to lower our hips. Inhale down. Squeeze those inner thighs together up. Inhale down. Squeeze lift. Go for four. Three more. Lower. Squeeze lift. Two more. Lower. One more. Lower. And up, lower those toe, 
ball heels, roll all the way down, take a breath. Same thing, other side. So belly button to spine, press and up, reaching knees away from the top of your head, waistlines are long. Press through your right heel and right big toe, lift your left so you're here, hips are nice and even. And then extend out, so holding when you're there. From there, remember, you can bring your arms down, you can keep your toes down, lower, lower with control. Exhale up, this side's way harder for me. Slow, four more. Slow, keep those inner thighs squeezing, they help a ton. Three, last two, last one. Press up, lower, roll all the way down, come to neutral, good, and take a breath. Okay, pop that ball off to the side. I'm gonna come to that neutral again, ribs tight around your center, lift your right heel, lift your left, lift your right leg, lift your left leg. So knees approximately over your hips. Remember, if you feel your back, bring your knees closer to your chest. Start with your inner thighs right together, upper body quiet, just knees away. Knees in. So if when your knees move away, you do this kind of a thing, reset yourself, maybe even come up one leg at a time, really connecting through your center, and then move those thighs just small. And in. Exhale. Pull and keep that chin pulling into your chest. We don't want to end up here. And in. Go for four. And in three more. And in last two. Last one. Thighs away, stay. Diamond. Try not to bring your diamond in closer. Keep it knees away. Back together. And in. Exhale. Out. And in. Back in, three more. Out, deepen those abs, in, two more. Abs, and in, last one. Abs, now stay here, extend your right. Pull it in, go left. Bring it in, right. Back in, let's go left. Back in, right again, reach, and in, let's go left. Back in, one more right, reach, and in, one more left, reach. Back in, legs together, lower, lower. Relax, grab your squishy ball. Well, don't really relax. Bring your foot on top of the ball. All right, so feet are in approximately the same kind of line there, nice even weight on your hips. Let's have our arms down for this one. I'll give you an option to lift them, but you definitely don't need to. Um, so think about that neutral to start. Inner thighs squeezing toward your midline, even though there's nothing there, you don't want them to touch one another, but you want to keep them, keep that bit of a connection. Now from here, just press into your left heel and lift right up. So if you press too much into your right heel, the ball is going to roll away. Try to keep your foot as light as you can, your right foot as light as you can on the ball there. So in this little hip lift, feel your knees reaching away from the top of your head. Really think about that length through your spine. You're going to lower your hips and then you're going to lift. So like we did before, inhale down with the ball between your inner thighs, lower with control and lift. So if you want to add some arms, go here. You can add the weights in your hands if you want. Inhale down. Inner thighs squeeze towards your midline, but your legs don't touch. Go for four, three, left heel presses. Two, left heel presses. Last one, left heel presses up, holding at the top slowly. Control that movement, roll all the way down. Take a breath and then come all the way back up. 
Okay, now your left, now you're gonna stay here. So your left glute is gonna isometrically hold you here. Just reach right, pull in, reaching out, pull in. Go for five. Don't let those hips drop. Go for four. You want even more, go for three, reaching in, reaching. How's that left heel doing? Still pressing right. Last one. And in, stay there, roll all the way down. Come through to neutral, lower those arms. All right, same thing, other side. So left toes on top of the ball, feet are in approximately the same line. Upper body is nice and quiet, back of your rib cage is heavy. Press into your right heel, come right on up. Hips are nice and level. Inhale, down. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Most of your weight in that right heel. Inner thighs squeezing towards one another without touching. You can have those arms reaching away. Five, reach. Four more, reach. Three more, reach. Last two, reaching, exhale, up. Last one, reaching, exhale, up. Holding there, slowly roll all the way down, take a breath. You're coming right back up, belly button, just fine. Exhale, hold, reach, and in. Hips stay level, reach, and in. So if you want, and you're feeling nice and strong, reach those arms away, add that extra. Inhale back, exhale up, five more. Reach, exhale up, four more. And in, three more, reach, and in, two more, reach, and in, holding there all the way down. Come right to neutral. Grab those knees, hug them in, have a little roll around one way and the other. And then, if you have weights on your wrists, take them off. Oops. We're gonna come into a little flexion here. So, um, feet back to about hip distance apart. Hands behind your head, so elbows hover off the mat, that little bit. Nice, comfortable distance in front of you with those feet so your hip flexors can stay relaxed. Let's tuck our chin just slightly and then exhale, curl up to flexion. So holding there, remember your shoulder blades are just barely lifting off the mat. Remember the huge difference between here, I don't feel much, and here I feel a ton, right? You can even see by these creases on my shirt, it's a good way to tell on yourself. Here, see the, the creases open up. You wanna scrunch as you come up. See that scrunch? That's where you wanna be. So slowly come all the way down, lengthen, smooth those creases out. And then as you come back up, tuck your chin, holding there. No movement through your hips, your hip flexes are relaxed, your sitting bones are wide, pelvis is neutral. Slowly come back, barely touch down, do it again, tuck and slowly melt down. Go two more, tucking your chin. Slowly right down. One more, tuck your chin, curl forward and stay. Lift your right heel, lift your left heel, stay there. So your sitting bones are nice and wide, little space behind your low back, you've got that scrunch in your shirt, right leg comes up, tap it down, left leg, tap it down. So isometric hold for your um, upper body, upper abs, no movement. You're looking towards those thighs, your legs are lifting and lowering. Your weight is staying completely even in your hips. One more right and down, one more left and down and then lower all the way and take a breath. Now let's extend our legs. So straight, stretch them right out underneath you. Reach toes. I'm gonna make it come down somewhere. All lined up. All right, so stretching your legs away from the top of your head, thinking about the weight distribution in your hips. It's gonna be really easy to, to shift your weight 
with this longer lever. So you're um, with your legs extended, it's just much easier to shift. So we're gonna really focus on our pelvis staying evenly weighted from right to left. Tuck your chin, curl up and stay. If you're neutral, you're all perfect there. Keep your left hip heavy. You're gonna bring your right leg to tabletop. So knee directly above your hip. Upper body is nice and curled forward. Now all you're gonna do is reach this leg and then pull in. So like we did before, except we're really focusing on this weight distribution here, and we're gonna add some upper body. So we're gonna come down, reach the top of your head away from your right big toe, and then curl all the way in. Waistlines are long. Inhale out, exhale, go for six. Reaching, five more, reaching, Four more, reach, exhale in. Three, reach, last two, lengthen and back. Last one, lengthen, curl up, stay there. Now you're gonna to rotate towards this right bent leg for six. Exhale and back, exhale. And back, right shoulder, left shoulder blade off the mat as you rotate and back two more. Left leg is still reaching, right? Left, last one. And back, extend that leg all the way. Lower your upper body all the way. Take a nice breath. We'll do the same set on the other side. Just have a nice little couple of breaths there. So thinking about our right hip on this side, staying level with your leg up and moving, everything wants to shift to the right. We're not gonna let that happen. So tuck that chin left leg in, so staying there, curling forward, looking towards that leg, just reach and pull in, keeping your right hip heavy, reach and pull in. Now add that upper body, so you're gonna reach away. Inhale, lengthen, this is work the whole way, it's not a break. Six more, and then six rotations. Five, your right leg is reaching the whole time, Four, reach, three more, reach, last two, out, exhale, in, last one, reach, exhale, in, rotate across, right shoulder blade off the mat, and back, right hip is heavy, across, and back, four more, and back, three more, and back, last two, back, last one, across, back to center, extend that left, lower your upper body all the way. Hug those knees into your chest, have a little roll around, one way, and the other. And then let's come on to our left side. So heels are gonna start underneath your bottom. Waistlines are long, so your left ribs are a little bit lifted off the mat. Right waistline is really nice and long. We're going to lift our top leg up. So get to that high point, really feel that nice width across your hips. You're neutral, so your tail is sticking up behind you. You're not tucking under there. And then just slowly lower that leg to a hover. So get up to that high point, hold, and then slow and control back down. So if you have ankle weights and you want to, something like these, and you want to, up the ante a little bit, you can attach them onto your ankles um, or just stick with it. These basic exercises are so, so good to really connect to them. There's so many things going on in just this one simple movement. Think about your core before you start the movement. So abs, then that leg rolls up. Abs are still working as you control back down. Slow, go for three more. Slow, last two. And slow, last one, let's go up, stay at the top. Now you're gonna extend that leg out, bring it in and then control back down. So your head is heavy on that left elbow, don't get, take that tension into your neck. In and down, exhale. Reach, in and down. Five more, up, 
reach, keep that leg still in and down. Reach, keep that turn out and down. Three more, up, reach, in and down. Two more, reach, in and down. Last one, up, reach, in and down. Now go up, stay, medial rotation, hold, lateral rotation. So medial rotation, a little pause, you're not letting your leg rest and then turn it all the way back out. So in and out, five more, in and out, four more, in and out, just like my arms, three, in and out, last two, in and out, last one, in and out, and then lower all the way down. Take a little breath, all right. And then we're gonna extend that right leg out. You can just let it rest for a sec. So think about what's happening in your body. Your right, your sorry, your left ribs are gonna want to press down to the mat as we work, especially as we get tired, as the exercise progresses on. So really think about that. Keep those right ribs that little bit lifted. For these ones, we're gonna reach our arm up to the ceiling. You can have a weight in your hand if you want, totally doesn't matter. Lift that right leg up, okay. So we're gonna reach right fingertips from right toes. And then we're gonna go up without changing anything in our waistlines. So reach away, lengthen. Lengthen and up. No change in your waistlines. Five, four more. Reach, three more reach and up, last two, reach and up, last one, reach back up and then stay right there. From here, we're gonna bend this knee right in. So knee is at a right angle and then you're gonna kick all the way out. Flex that foot in and then flex. Six like this, nice and high. Waistline stay long. Your left ribs are still lifting. Go for five. Four more. In and reach. Three more. In and reach. Two more. In and reach. Last one, go in. Stay there. You're going to lower your arm and lift. Inhale, lower, last six, control your right leg is at a right angle now, five, four more, if you like glute mead, three, last two, down and up, last one, down and up, extend out all the way, hang there, have a little bit of a stretch, and then come onto your back, give that right glute a little stretch as well. So right foot in front of your left knee, flex that foot a little bit, neutral. So your tailbone is still heavy as you stretch out. You can hug in here if you want. Take a nice couple of breaths, get some water. All right, so same thing over here. Lying on your right side, thinking about your waistline staying long, heels underneath your sitting bones to start. Um, right ribs are that little bit lifted and you're neutral, right? So you're just gonna go up here, keeping your hips square and then just slowly control down. So exhale, inhale, slow. Exhale, up, inhale, slow. Keep those right ribs lifting the whole time. Up, control, four more. Control, three more, up, last two, and down, last one, go up, stay, so you're going to extend that leg out, bend it in, and then lower, keeping your head heavy up, in, and down, six more, up, reach, in, 
and down five more. Up, reach, in, and down four. Reach, in, down three. Up, in, down last two. Up, reach, in, and down last one. Up, reach, in. Stay there, keep those hips nice and square. Medial rotation, lateral rotation. Out, six more. In and out, five more. And out, four more. In and out, three more. In, turn out, last two. Turn out, last one. In, turn out, and then lower all the way down. Okay, take a breath. You're going to straighten this um, left leg all the way out. Reach your left arm up. Keep your right ribs lifting and then reach your left arm overhead. So reach fingertips from toes. Reach. You can have a weight in your hand if you want. Lengthening away. Reaching away. And up. Five more. Reach. And up. Four more, reach, three more, last two, reach, and up, last one, reach, back up, stay there, now you're going to bend this knee right in, holding there, and then kick all the way up, reach through your heels, so bend in, keep your right ribs lifting off the mat, don't let them just drop down, in, control, 90 degree angle, right? With your body. In, reach, four more. Three more. In, reach, last two. In, reach, last one, come in, stay there. Lower that arm, you're gonna go up. Control, exhale, up, control, five more, control, four more, up, control, three more, and down, last two, and down, last one, let's go up, and then lower all the way, lower all the way, up. One of these stretch outs, really reaching, fingertips from toes, and then just come right onto your back, left foot in front of your right knee, and then hug behind that right knee. So take a nice couple of breaths there. Keeping that neutral, so keeping those long waistlines, upper body stay as quiet as you stretch. Sitting, lying down, whatever feels good. Okay, when you're finito, grab your squishy ball. We are gonna put it right underneath our heel bone. Okay. It'll stay. If your ball is blown up too much, it won't, you won't be able to kind of squeeze it underneath. So just make sure you can maybe release a little air if you need to. Um, arms are gonna come straight up in front of you so you're sitting tall. I need to release a little bit of air probably. We'll sit there, we're gonna scoop back. So belly button just fine as you roll back, squishing down towards the ball and you come down. Take a breath there. So feeling that your hip bones are kind of facing towards the ceiling, not in front of you, they're rolled back, right? Arms are gonna come up and down and come all the way back to seated, nice and tall. So do that again, belly button to spine, pressing those lowest few vertebrae back towards the ball, arms up for two, Arms up for one, down, use those abs all the way back to seated, nice and tall. Now go three, three, and down, let's go for two. And down, let's go for one, and down, and then use those abs all the way back to seated, nice and tall. Let's go for four, rolling, scooping, holding, four, and down, let's go for three. And down, last two. 
and down. Last one, let's go up, lower down, stay, right arm out, hold, and in, left arm out, hold, and in, right arm, back in, left, back in, one more right, out, and if you feel your back come up a little higher, in, use those abs all the way back to seated, nice and tall. Okay, now roll your ball a little bit higher up. So it's kind of gonna be between your, just under your shoulder blades, I'd say not between your shoulder blades. Make sure you're on the center where your ball is centered in your body. So about there, like just under my shoulder blades, about. So if your ball is too high up, it's gonna be super, super easy. You're not gonna feel much. And if it's too low down, we're gonna be back in low abs. Again, we wanna get these mid abs. So start, find that kind of sweet spot. It should feel really, really hard holding your neutral if the ball's in the right position. All right, so hands behind our head. Keeping even weight in your feet to start. We're just gonna come back a little bit. Look just slightly towards the ceiling, almost in an extension, so not quite there and then curl back up. So inhale back, curling up. So keeping your pelvis still is the main priority here. Keeping your ribs tight around your center is also super important. You don't want your ribs to let go and splay. Go for four more, inhale back. Three more. Last two, last one, come back, pull up, holding there, lift your right heel. If you want to stay there or else come up here, rotate across, little lift. So your left side just slightly comes off the ball and then come back to center, exhale. And back, don't worry if you're shaking, I am five and <laughs> back, exhale, four. And back, exhale, three, rotate. And back, exhale, two, rotate. And back, exhale, one. Come back, lower your right. Take a breath, even weight on those feet, lift your left, right hip is heavy, holding up there. You ready? Exhale, rotate. And back, right shoulder blade barely off the mat. And back, go for five. And back, four more, keep that right heavy. And back, three more. And back, last two. And back, last one. Come back, lower all the way. Grab onto those thighs, come right on up. Whew. Okay, pop the ball off to this side. We're gonna come to a four point kneel now. So hands under your shoulders, knees approximately underneath your hips. All right, and then nice and connected through your core so you're not just letting everything go, you're not arching, neutral. So let's um, just press into your knees a little bit, feel your feet are nice and connected with the mat, nice and pressed away with your upper body so your shoulder blades are nice and flat on your back. And then let's kick our right leg straight out, reach when it's out there, take a breath, really feel toes reaching away, and then come up. All right, so reaching toes away from the top of your head, Add that arm if you want. Watch your right elbow isn't locking. Reach left. You're going to tap. Inhale, tap. Exhale, up. Go for six. Control. Five more. Control. And up. Four more. Three. Lower. Press into that left knee. Lift. Two. Lift. Last one. Lower. Let's go up. Stay right there, hand in, knee in. Seat yourself back to a little shell stretch. Give your wrists a little twist, shake out. Same side again. Add a little on, so hands back under your shoulders, neutral. Kick your right leg back out, lift it up. This time bring your left elbow down. So your left palm kind of reaches across. Some weight in your right, just so you're not shifting all the way over. So from here, we're gonna turn this right leg out. Your weight really wants to shift when you do that. Don't let it bend your right knee into your right elbow. Doesn't matter how far it comes. You wanna keep this waistline long, not kind of do that. Keep that long and reach. So in, 
Nice long neck. Six. In. Pressing into your left knee as you extend your right. Five. In. Press. Reach. Four more. In. Press. Reach. Three more. In. Last two. In. Exhale. Out. Last one. In. Exhale. Out. Stay there. Lower those toes. Your leg is still a little bit turned out. In, press through your left knee as you lift. Go for six, five more. Lower, four more. Lower and lift. Three more. Lower and lift. Two more. Last one, down, squeeze up and then bring this leg in, seat yourself back. Give those shoulders a nice little roll out. All right, we'll do the same on the other side. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Think about those long waistlines. Upper body is nice and strong. We're gonna kick our left leg out. Lift it up, reach your toes away from the top of your head. So really feeling that length. And then from here, extend your right arm if you want. You're just gonna tap, lift, inhale, tap, Six, lower and lift. Five more, lower. My wrist is still funny. Four, pressing through your right knee as you lift. Last two, last one. Arm in, all the way back. Give those wrists a little shake, twist them out. All right, and then we'll do the same. We're gonna be, well, we're gonna do the same as we did on the other side. So same leg again, shooting back. So that's gonna be your lefty. Kick it out, bring your right elbow down this time. Turn out your left knee without shifting your weight totally to the right. Remember, and then pull in. Left waistline stays long the whole way and keep it long the whole way up. So six. Five more, in, four more, in, and reach. Three more, in, exhale out. Last two, last one, in, and reach. Stay there, just tap, keeping your left hip up, reach. Pressure into your right leg, that standing leg, lower with control, squeeze, five. Lower with control, squeeze. Four more. Three more. Exhale up. Last two. Last one. And then bend that leg in. Sit yourself back to that little shell stretch again. Sit right on back. And then come back up. Let's switch this way again. So hands under your shoulders. Again, knees underneath your hips or knees in line with your hips so that they're going to be right together. You're going to curl your toes under. So we're pretty nice and lined up. My knees look a little close. Keep your ribs tight around your center. So without shifting your weight forward or back, you're just going to lift your knees. So deepen your abs. Lift your knees about an inch or so, and then lower the back with control. So exhale, inhale, go for four. And down, three more. Last two. And down, ready, one more, you're gonna come up. Stay right there, extend your right, and pull it in. Left, out, and in. Staying in that, however, can you go all the way? Back in, can you go left? Let's go right. And in, one more left. 
lower, all the way. Reach those arms forward. Take a nice couple of breaths there. Twist those guys out. All right, and then come back down onto your backs, guys. You're gonna grab your ball again. Have your weights handy if you want to. I'm not gonna use them, but you guys can if you want. Ball is gonna go underneath your tailbone. So finding that little bit of neutral, your tailbone is heavy. You're not here, right? You're here. Back of your rib cage is nice and heavy. So from there, we're gonna bring our, lift our right heel up and then lift your left heel up. Someone was playing with my ball. It has more air in it than I normally prefer, but we'll see how I do here. Right knee on top of your right hip and then bring your left up as well. So keeping that neutral, keeping your ribs tight around your center. From here, we're gonna reach our right leg out. So reach away deep in those abs and then pull in. Now go left and back. Ribs stay tight around your center as you reach. Keep them tight around your center as you pull in. Left. Back in. Pause here. Give your head a little rock back and forth. No tension there, right? Now from here, you're going to reach your right leg out. Hold. Open it to the side. An inch or two. Bring it back in. All the way. Left. Reach. Open out slightly. Pull it in. And back. So only open as far as you can stay steady. Maybe you can't quite open it out yet. We'll work towards that. That's okay. Stability is the most important thing. So don't open wide just for the sake of opening wide. No use. One more out. In all the way. Okay, from here, lift those forearms. If you're feeling really steady, reach those arms up as well. I don't like this ball, guys. One leg up. Hold there. Okay, from here, right leg reaches away, right arm reaches overhead, and then pull all the way back, and then go left and left. And in, let's go right and right, reach away, fingertips from toes, and in, left and left. Back in. Again, exhale, reach long, inhale in. Exhale, reach long, inhale, and in. one more right and right. And back one. Hold there, open your knees, hold, and in, exhale. In, four more. Last three. Last two. And in, last one, go out, stay there. Make sure your knees aren't here, they are here. Reaching out, back in, reaching. Back in, so to this side a little bit. Add that arm if you want, right arm, right leg to this side. And in, left arm, left leg. Back in, let's switch again. And in, let's go left and left. One more each way, exhale. And in, one more here. Back in, legs together, take a breath, ready both legs in front, they don't need to go straight, reach them away, reach those arms, lengthen. And in. And in. Exhale. Five. So notice I'm not straightening my legs. You don't need to, to really feel it. You want to be able to keep that connection. Think about your thighs moving away from the top of your head. Three. And in. Go for two. Last one. 
in, lower your right, lower your left, press into your heels, let those hips right on up. Take a nice breath at the top and then roll all the way down. Go for a couple more little hip rolls like that. So belly button, just fine. Press through your heels, lift those hips. Rolling right back. Come to neutral, take a breath. Two more. Slowly keep those ribs tight. Roll right down. And one more like that. Belly button in. Roll all the way. Awesome. And then extend your legs straight out. Reach those arms right up to the ceiling. Reach them overhead, keeping your ribs tight around your center. We're going to come into full roll-ups. So tuck your chin. Roll, curl all the way. Stacking up tall and then melt back. So belly button to spine, rolling those hips back first. Your ribs come back, then your shoulder blades touch, then your head reach opposite on the way up, right? Tuck your chin all the way. Let's come back down one more like this. And reach, let's add a leg. So curling, tuck that chin. As you come up, lift your right leg. You can bend it, whatever feels good. Slowly roll down, keeping that leg reaching away all the way. Do the same thing left. So tuck your chin, keep that right hip heavy, lifting, holding, leg straight, leg bent, whatever feels good. Slow and controlled, reaching, reaching, reaching. Go one more each way like that. Tuck your chin, curling up, hold, slowly melt down. Even weight on your hips is the priority there. With the leg lift up. Low and controlled. And extend, go a couple more. Let's try both legs tucking, curl. Legs can come up or up, whatever feels good. Slowly reach away, lengthen. And again, tuck. Abs deep and lifting into that little teaser or stay here. And then just lower those legs right on down. We'll come up to a four point kneel. Hang there, you're gonna kick one leg out, really reach through your heels. You'll feel that whole back line of your leg having a little bit of a stretch out there. Top of your head reaches away from that right heel. And then bring that leg and do the same thing left. So left heel reaches away from the top of your head, long waistlines as you do that, that core stays nice and connected. Bring it in. And then go right again. Bring your left back, tuck your chin, press yourself back to that downward dog. Heels will drop. Walk your feet out. And switch, switch. And then drop both heels nice and low. Lift both right up. And then drop down again. Tail lifts up as your heels press down. And then lift back up. And then drop those heels. Let's have a little walk out. And then we'll walk our hands in. Right, left, right, left. Hang in that forward fold. Let everything have a little shake out and then really press your heels through the mat. Imagine you're stacking up against a wall, just like I would here. Stack up, bone by bone, pressing back. All the way up. Give those shoulders a nice little roll down. Whew. And you are finito. Thanks, good. there you are, Robin. Thanks for joining, guys. Have a lovely weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week, I hope.